engineer their success. I very much think that my success is... When you become a very successful person, you're going to be successful. Let's pray again. What is the opposite of success? <laughs> That's a simple question, right? The answer is failure. You can either succeed or fail. There is no middle ground because success and failure are what drive the world. Schools rank students from the most successful ones, those with higher marks, to the failed student with lower marks. At work, the rules are the same. The high-performing workers are considered successful and get promoted or rewarded, while the struggling ones are always getting lectures or even worse, hardly noticed. And when it comes to entrepreneurship, most people are discouraged by their fear of failure. But let me ask you this. What exactly is failure? You probably said it's the inability to complete a certain task or something along those lines. Now, just think about that for a second. Most of society say that if you cannot do something, you are considered a failure. But what if I told you that this narrative about success and failure is all wrong? What if I told you that failure is not the opposite of success? What if I told you that failure is part of success? Don't take my word for it. Hear it from someone very successful. Failure is not a, not a big stigma. So it's like if you, if you try hard and it doesn't work out, uh, that's okay. Like you can um, learn from that and you know, do another company and it's not a big deal. This is Elon Musk. He is a world-renowned entrepreneur and scientist conquering the business world. From co-founding the first internet-based bank, introducing electric cars, to building space travel infrastructure, Elon Musk has been very successful. So why does he believe in failure being a stepping stone to success? What can you learn from him? Watch this video to the end and you are going to run. Why? Instead of chasing success and avoiding failure at all costs, you need to be doing the exact opposite. This is the story of how Elon Musk is changing entrepreneurship and the world as we know it and the reasons you can learn from him. Let's start from the very beginning, when Elon Musk was just a boy. Like most kids, he had no idea what he wanted to do in life, but deep down, he knew books were the answer. Young Elon would spend 10 hours a day reading books that he considered interesting and educational. This shaped his mind a certain way, and his curiosity to put the words he read into practice led him to being the self-taught genius you know today. Apart from books, he liked computers. At the age of 12, Elon Musk wrote Blastal, a computer game, and sold it. Making his way through college as a young man, Elon still didn't know what his future had in store, but at least by now, he had figured out his passion for business and physics, which are the two degrees he graduated with from the University of Pennsylvania. His love for learning got him to attend Stanford University, but only after two days, Elon knew this was not what he wanted, because what he wanted was to make his dream of being involved in aerospace come true. Before venturing into aerospace, Elon Musk exercised his passion for entrepreneurship with Zip2. This was Elon's first company which he founded with his brother Kimber Musk. The company provided and licensed online city guides to newspapers before being purchased in 1999 after five good years of service. Ever heard of PayPal? Assuming you are one of the few people that hasn't, PayPal was originally named X.com by the founder Elon Musk and was one of the first online banks. On October the 3rd, 2002, PayPal was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion and Elon Musk received $165 million. What would you do with such a huge amount of money? Would you retire and never work again in your life? Or you would invest it in the stock market and live off dividends? Could you play it safe and invest it in real estate? For Elon Musk, this is the buff of SpaceX. Initially, Elon Musk wanted to start Mars Oasis, 
This was a project to run an experimental greenhouse containing seeds with dehydration gel on Mars to grow plants on Mauritian soil. But he soon realized how expensive this really was and sought a different approach. Therefore, Musk traveled to Russia to buy refurbished ICBMs that could send payloads into space. In Russia, Musk and his team were not taken seriously and unfortunately left empty-handed. In February 2002, the team decided to go back to Russia to look for three ICBMs. They were offered one locket for $8 million by Cosmotras, but still, Musk could not afford that kind of money, so he and his team left. On the way back though, he had the crazy idea that you've probably had before. Why can't Elon Musk start his own space company? Why couldn't he start a company that makes exactly what he needed? Affordable rockets. The answer is, he could, and he did. He started SpaceX, an American aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company. SpaceX started with the smallest useful orbital rocket, Falcon 1, instead of building a more complex and riskier one that could have failed and bankrupted the whole company. Two, In 2006, three, the first four, SpaceX launch explodes five, just 30 six, seconds after liftoff. In 2007, engine shuts down and rocket fails to reach the orbit. Bottom. His first rockets failed to reach orbit. In August 2008, Kraft ends up in the sea after an uncontrollable spin. This third area almost killed the company completely. Fortunately, SpaceX was saved by billionaire Peter Thiel, the first outside investor. And three years later, SpaceX finally celebrated success. It was on Sunday, the 28th September 2008, when SpaceX became the first privately owned company to send a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit. The rest is history. What kept Elon Musk going, despite all these failures? Elon Musk believes that a future where humanity is out exploring the stars is fundamentally more exciting than one where we are not. And this makes a lot of sense, don't you think? Mr. Musk continued to say, when something is important enough, you do it in spite of fear. And this is his response when he's constantly told his ideas are crazy. Or how do you think about making a decision when everyone tells you this is a crazy idea? Or where do you get the internal strength to do that? Well, first of all, I'd say I actually think I, I, think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. A wise man once said, 95% of people work for the 5% that never gave up. Elon Musk is part of that 5%. And you could be too. The following are three things you can learn from Elon that will help you as an entrepreneur. Work like hell. If you can work every working hour, success is yours. When others are getting 50 hours of work per week, get 100 hours. And therefore, what others do in a year, you can do it in four months. If other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. Be a risk taker. You know that thing you've always wanted to do but feel scared to try? Take the risk. Take it now before getting too many responsibilities in life. Listen to the man himself speak briefly on this. Now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. And once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. 
overcome fear. The amount of anxiety you rate straight into your mind will cripple you in terms of brainstorming marvelous ideas and making your dreams come true. Elon Musk puts it in simple terms. Um, I think sometimes people fear, fear starting a company too much. Um, you know, they have to say, really, what's the worst that could, could go wrong? You're not going to starve to death. You're not going to die of exposure. Um, what's the worst that could go wrong? In this life, no matter who you are, you are never entitled to success because victory is a product of fight. And as an entrepreneur, unless you are one of extremely lucky ones, you are mostly likely to fail way more than once. But the more you stand up when you are put down and believe in your idea, the bigger chance you have at success. My friend, what I'm saying is this. If you want to impact your society in a certain way, and I know you do, no matter what people tell you, even though sometimes that could be your inner voice, don't listen when you are told you can't do it. Because like Elon Musk says in response to that, we have done it. Did you know that Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, rejected the proposal from Musk to buy Tesla for 10% of its worth when both Tesla and SpaceX were struggling? And now, looking at Tesla's success, Apple plans to make an electric car. Who is roughing now, huh? When you have heard the word no a million times, when you feel like you can't go through the whole process again, get up. Get up and try again for the millionth and one time. When you're going through pain, struggle, tears, and having second thoughts, my friend, remember that each and every successful person ranging from Steve Jobs to our very own Elon Musk went through a very low point. But the one thing these people all have in common is that they had a dream and never gave up on it. Someone once told me, whatever hurts in the present will be a source of joy in the future. Every failure is a step closer to success. So if you give up now, you are a step away from success. Everyone in this world has the talent to succeed. The question is, do you have the mentality and guts to fail? Feria has proven to be very important and not just in entrepreneurship, as it allows you to learn from your mistakes and do better. Because, let's be honest, to get something you never heard, you must do something you never did. There is an old saying that if you hang around the barber shop long enough, sooner or later, you're gonna get a haircut. What this means is that the more you get up and try, the more time and effort you invest, the more you wipe those tears and seek a different approach, the more you hang around your dream, the bigger chance you have at making that dream come true and the closer you are to success. What else can I tell you, my friend? Go and chase those dreams. The sky is no longer the remit. Elon Musk is going to Mars. Thank you for watching to the end. Did you enjoy this video? Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I upload videos about personal finance and money on a weekly basis. If you don't want to miss any video, consider subscribing and turning all the notifications on. See you next time. Ciao.